Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the UK professionals to take on the big boss man at arms. First up, Super Smash Brothers UK champion Jay Miller. And next, we have Smash UK community leader GP. Now let's see how these guys are preparing for battle. So I'm using Master Mummy. He operates really slowly, but he's one of these characters who really have a strong factor of intimidation about them. So I'm using Bark and Bite. All of his specialist stuff comes from Bark, who plays more like a puppet character. I, I like using that to distract people, make people focus on him, and then I can get in and use some of like the huge combos that Bite can do. Some good fighting talk there, boys, but what's this? JP. Jamira. Oh my, it's the real deal. Arms producer, Kosuke Abuki. And it's time for the first fight. Can Jay Miller's bandage barricade master mummy stand strong against Mr. Yubuki's world-renowned Min Min? The first round appears to be in Min Min's favor. Delaying his pestering punches briefly, Mr. Yubuki even tricks Jay Miller into a one-two punch that leaves him open to a full rush attack. Oh. Mr. Yabuki wins round one. <sighs> Getting into round two, we see an arm change from Jay Miller. Unfortunately, Min Min's powerful left arm is so strong, it spooks the Grim Creeper into a jump. And Jay Miller takes another full rush. Mummy's straight revolver misses its mark, and Mega what? Look at that. Mr. Yubuki takes round two, and with it, the match. Push him aside, there's nowhere to hide. The second fight sees Mr. Yubuki trade the Agile Min Min for the buff bot of Max Brass, while GP chooses the determined duo Bite and Bark. Crack! Straight away, GP uses the fast cracker to put Mr. Yubuki into the Sky Arena's trench. It's hard to jump out of there and GP knows it, using the Seeky to apply pressure. But oh no! The Seeky clips Bark and the explosion of that charged arm disables GP. Mr. Yubuki wastes no time retaliating. As these two incredible fighters trade blows, the match goes back and forth like a pendulum of punching. But Mr. Yubuki is not able to catch GP's evasive shimmies as the timer ticks down and GP takes round one. Could it be game over for the big boss man? Round two begins and Mr. Yubuki immediately trades the heavy kablammer for a second roaster. This should help Mr. Yubuki catch GP's meddling movement, a method that saw him cling on to the win in round one. And this tactic is perfectly illustrated as Mr. Yubuki punches to where GP shimmies to close the match. It wasn't perfect, but clipping the charred Seeky meant the GP still took damage. Gotta be careful when moving with explosive arms. Carefully, carefully catchy tricky Seeky. The decider, neither fighter changes arms and an early reactionary rush gives Mr. Yubuki the lead. But it's not long before GP Seeky proves its worth, dealing a ton of last-second rush damage to Mr. Yubuki. This fight is intense, and with mere seconds left on the clock, Mr. Yubuki barely survives a grab, giving GP a crucial advantage. But GP looks ready to file the paperwork. With Bark down, and with seconds left, GP is in trouble. I can't look! Big brawny brass, what? Getting close, Mr. Yubuki is able to throw a grab that GP fails to react to. Clinching the win in a style truly befitting of the champ himself. Let's hear it for the big boss man, Mr. Yabuki! スキンカを、スキンを作らない。私が攻めるポイントを作らせないっていうのはさすがプロフェッショナルだなと思いました。あの、まず彼らはこう私との間合いの取り方がすごく上手だったんですよね。こう油断 what I was really surprised about was his movement in particular. Consistent, precise pressure, trying to really combat what he was doing was difficult for a good while. I mean, I'm still trying to recover from my game. It was right down to the wire. He just had a better read on the way I was moving than I did on him. Both of his arms are really intense when it comes to damage. I literally left my feet left the floor. Um, 
It was really intense as well, fought all the way down to the wire. Mighty fine <laughs> fighters and modest to boot. The UK put on a fine show, huh, Mr. Yubuki? Sounds like a call to arms. Have you got what it takes? Arms, out now only on Nintendo Switch.